Hi boys and girls. So I had so much fun yesterday doing the author's purpose video that I thought that today we could review another skill that we have been working on and that is cause and effect. Okay, so I made a little mini anchor chart that looks like the one in our classroom. Okay, so remember that cause is the reason why something happened. It usually starts with because. The effect is the result of what happened. So if I said um, I ate a snack because I was hungry, what I actually did was eat a snack, and that was the effect of the cause. The cause was I was hungry. That was the reason why I did something. So I thought that we could do this the same way that we did author's purpose, grab a piece of paper, a napkin, whatever, and instead of um, P, I, and E, you're just going to write A and B. We're not even going to do C and E for cause and effect. You're just going to do A and B, and I'll show you why. All right? If you don't have paper, you don't want to do this part, that's fine. All you have to do is just call out A or B when I show you the sentence. Okay? So a little piece of paper, A or B. That's going to be our answer choices. So I'm going to show you a sentence. And your job is going to be for all of them to find the cause. We're not going to find the effect. We'll talk about the effect when we get to it. But we're just going to be looking for the cause. All right? So remember, the cause is the reason why something happened. Okay? Take a look at that anchor chart one more time. All right. So here we go. So you're going to hold up A or B. So the first part of the sentence I'm all, I have underlined and I'm going to call it A. And the second part of the sentence I underlined and I'm calling it B. So you just have to decide if A is the cause or if B is the cause. All right? And then you would hold up A or B. Okay? So here we go. So our first sentence is, my dad saw a bird, so he took a picture of it. Looking for the cause, the reason why something happened. My dad saw a bird, so he took a picture of it. We're not looking for what actually happened. We're looking for a reason. All right. Give it a second. Which part is the cause? Ready? One, two, three. Hold up your answers or shout it out. Is it part A or part B? Yep, it's part A. The effect is he took a picture of it. That's what dad actually did. But the reason why he did it was part A. He saw a bird. I guess he wanted a picture of it. So that's why he took the picture of it because he saw it. Okay, great job. Let's do number two. All right. This one is the alarm went off. So I knew it was time to wake up. So we're looking for the cause, the reason why we did something. Is it part A or part B? So part A is the alarm went off. Part B is I knew it was time to wake up. We're looking just for the cause, the reason why something happened. You ready? One, two, three. Yep, once again, it's part A. The alarm went off. That's the reason why I knew it was time to wake up. What I actually did was know it was time to wake up. But the reason I knew is because of that cause. The alarm went off. So again, answer was A. Great job. Let's look at the next one. Keegan was hungry because he skipped lunch. I'm looking for the reason, the reason why something happened. Keegan was hungry because he skipped lunch. So Keegan was hungry or because he skipped lunch. Part A or part B? The reason, the cause. Yep. It was answer B, okay? So even our signal word there, cause, is leading into the cause. It's like a signal word. It's telling you this is the cause. So the reason that Keegan was hungry is he skipped lunch. So that was part B. All right, next one. Tim forgot his math book, so he wasn't able to do his homework. So we're looking at part A, Tim forgot his math book, or he wasn't able to do his homework. Which part is the cause? Is it part A or part B? The actual reason why something else happened. Ready? One, two, three. Yep, part A. Tim forgot his math book. That's the reason why he couldn't do his homework. So not being able to do the homework is what happened. That was the effect of this cause. Tim forgot to do his homework. All right, next one. I got a couple more. 
Max stayed up late, so he was very tired today. All right, we're looking for the cause. We're looking for the reason why something happened. Is the reason something happened is Max stayed up late or the reason is he was tired today? Are you ready? One, two, three. Yep, answer is A. Max stayed up late. That's the reason that he's tired today. The effect is that he was tired today. That is what actually is happening. And the reason, the cause is A. I'm noticing that a lot of them are A. I didn't do that on purpose. That's the way it goes. A lot of times we give a reason first. But we could actually flip the sentence around if we wanted to, too. And we could say, um, Max was tired today because he stayed up late. So you can flip them around if you need to. All right, next one. Erin's car had a flat tire, so she called a tow truck. All right, looking for the reason why something happened. Ready, one, two, three. Yep, Erin's car had a flat tire. That is the cause, that's the reason something happened. What she actually did, the effect, is having to call the tow truck. But the reason is she had a flat tire, so her answer was A. All right, let's do this one. We went to the store because we needed to buy milk. All right, looking for the cause, the reason why something happened. The reason, not what's actually happening, but the reason that it's happening. All right, ready? One, two, three. Yep, it was B. All right, not A this time, because look, we flipped it around. So we're saying because, it's even signaling us, here's the cause, we needed to buy milk. The effect of that is we had to go to the store. So going to the store is what's actually happening. That's our effect. The cause is we had to buy milk. All right. Here's one. It was my birthday, so I got to open a present. Looking for the cause, the reason why something happened. Is it part A? It was my birthday, or part B, I got to open a present. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yep, it was A again. It was my birthday. That's the cause. That's the reason why I was able to open a present. So opening the present is the effect. That's what I'm actually doing. But the reason is A, it was my birthday. All right, I have two more for you. This is a quick mini lesson. All right, here we go. Lou had to be very quiet because the baby was sleeping. So we're looking for the cause, the reason why something is happening. Is it part A, Lou had to be very quiet, or is it part B, because the baby was sleeping? Which is the cause? Ready, one, two, three. Yep, this time it's B, the baby was sleeping. That's the reason why Lou had to be very quiet. The effect of the cause is that he had to be quiet. Being quiet is what's actually happening. The reason is because the baby was sleeping. All right, last one. All right, Eli forgot his umbrella. Therefore, his clothes got wet. Notice we used a different signal word this time, okay? We had been just using so and because, but there's so many different signal words for cause and effect, all right? As a result, therefore, um, however, um, in turn, remember we had them all in the anchor chart in school. All right, so again, looking for the cause, Eli forgot his umbrella, therefore his clothes got wet. Which part is the cause, the reason why something happened? Ready? One, two, three. Yep, A again. Eli forgot his umbrella. So that's the reason why his clothes got wet. So the result is the clothes getting wet. All right. Great job, everyone. That was just a quick little review of a skill that we've already worked on in school. We already took our test on it. So, but it's really important that we, you know, come back and practice all of our skills. So tomorrow we're going to do something different, something else we've worked on. We'll make another different pinch card. And I can't wait for that. All right. I miss you guys so much. I hope you're being good for your grown-ups. I hope you're wearing your sports gear today for our virtual spirit week. And I can't wait to see you when we get back to school. Bye.